Good evening folks and welcome to day 8 of the advent calendar. Uh, basically 24 days, 24 beers. Same as advent calendar you had as a kid, but instead of a chocolate you get a beer. You can't beat that. All gold medal beers and they've never been sold in Canada before, so if you're Canadian, right now this is the only chance you're going to get to get them. So let's see what we have for day 8. Always having problems getting the beer out. Bear with me for a second, folks. I actually just cracked the can when I pulled it out. But we have Kelburn Brewing Dark Moor 4.5% alcohol. It's a smoothie, dark, and fruity. It is out of Scotland. I got any other information? It says Kelvin Brewing Company is an independent family business located in the west of Scotland, dedicated to the production of quality ales used in traditional brewing styles. Smooth, dark, and dangerous designed to warm the cockles of your heart, sitting around the ingle after a long winter's day. Winner over winner of over eight sorry, winner of over ten awards, including Champion Beer of Scotland. No added preservatives. Alright, so I'll crack it open. I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse. I'm using a snifter glass today. And basically, I mean, people see snifter glass, it's mostly for, you know, brandy, cognac. But it's coming around that a lot of people use them for beers, especially ales that have a lot of flavor and aroma. Basically, you got a big bowl on the bottom, which gives you an opportunity to. Give the beer a little shake and what you're going to do uh, helps with the aroma and the volatiles basically gets them up and then it kind of curves inward at the top basically trapping those volatiles. So it's a definitely a dark color, a little bit of head, not much. Um, a little bit of a fruity aroma. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say the aroma is strong but it's definitely there. Initial smell, it's kind of like a strong aroma, but then it dissipates fairly quick, I'm finding. Now, taste. Hmm. And the taste is kind of strong, but it doesn't linger, which I like. I'm going to uh, zoom in so you can see the can. sure what style of beer this is other than ale which doesn't really give you much information quite a bit of flavor but nothing overwhelming in my opinion I must say, these uh, boxes that the bears came in, they're definitely well insulated. This has been sitting in the fridge when I'm not doing the reviews, and I can actually feel the cold air coming out of it. So it's definitely well insulated. Um, just looking at the can again, just to see if I can see what type of ale. That just says Dark Moor. Smooth, dark, dangerously designed. Hmm. All right. Like I said, there's a fair bit of flavor there, but it doesn't linger, it doesn't stick with you. Like I said, that's a plus for me. Um, it's a dark beer, but it's not, it's not creamy. Like a lot of, uh, I find a lot of stouts particularly, and some porters, they're almost kind of thick type of thing. But this, it's got a good viscosity. Um, 
Not a bad beer at all. I'm actually uh, quite surprised. I get, well, you know, it's, they, they say dark, it's dark, it's smooth. It's fairly smooth, in my opinion, for a dark beer. They say fruity. I'm not really getting a lot of fruit flavor. I am getting more of a fruity aroma. There's something there, I just can't put my finger on it, so maybe that's something in the uh, fruit department. Not a bad beer at all. I have to give a rating. My ratings, as always, are out of five. A one's a drain pour. Basically, I don't like it. Can't finish it. I'm going to pour it down the drain. A two would be, a, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I'm not going to waste my beer. A three would be a good beer. A four would be a very good beer. And a five would be the best beer I've ever had. Obviously, I've never had a five. I've had a couple 4.5s, but that's about it. And all I do is give full ratings or half ratings. There's no 3.25 or 4.75. Half or full only. Uh, this one, <clears throat> I'm leaning towards a three, which is a good beer, so nothing wrong with that. Actually, I think I'm going to give this one a 3.5, because I'm obviously drinking it fairly quickly. It's going down easily, so it's definitely as smooth, especially, like I said, in my opinion, for a dark beer. Uh, these, this is one of those beers, in my opinion, that if you're not comfortable drinking dark beers, because you haven't had a lot of exposure to dark beers, but something you want to try, but you're kind of intimidating going straight for a, you know, a heavy stout or a, or a port, this would be one, a starting beer for the dark styles in my opinion. So there you go folks, for the Calburn Brewing Company's Dark Moor 4.5% Ale, 3.5. Quite happy with that. Like I said, obviously an easy drinking beer. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully you can join me tomorrow, day nine. We'll see what other uh, brews we got in the box here. Hopefully uh, it'll be uh, something maybe a little bit different. They're all beers that I've never had before. I said it last uh, video. I've done quite a bit of travel, probably 30, 40 countries. So I've had a lot of beers around the world. But I have yet to have any of the ones... The eight that I've had so far, so I'm hoping that continues. That'll all be new beers for me. So, here, folks. Hopefully, we see you tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Until next brew, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.